All right, so we are going to do the upgrade on the H123D firmware. And uh, to do that, all you need to do is have your USB cable plugged into the side of your PC. And then on the left side of the quad, you'll notice that it has the micro USB connection. That's where you want to connect your other, the other end of your cable. Plug it in, you'll hear the computer beep. So now that we're connected to the computer, we're going to go and uh, upgrade the firmware using the Hubson upgrade tool. All right, so let's upgrade the firmware. And first, I just want to note that the files you'll see on my computer are probably different than what you're seeing currently. Well, currently, yes, they are different. Um, I normally put together the folder formats and the change log for some of the Hubson models and I submit them to Hubson and they put them on the website. Uh, I did not get them done in time. Uh, so they've already uploaded all the files into one big folder. And what I do is first I also, I, I just go and put in the date, uh, which actually this should be 09, 2018, but I put in the date on the folder so it can be recorded by date when the upgrade or the firmware upgrade was brought out or introduced. So inside my file, what you'll find is uh, segregated files. Uh, one will be the change log, uh, which I just finished. Um, just got to add one more thing to it. And uh, then I'll be submitting my, my files to them. But um, you're also going to notice that there's a PID tuning tool that we'll do in another video, uh, but that just changes your parameters within the flight control. Uh, with this being a racer, you can change it to your preference and uh, your flight of flying abilities. So we're going to go ahead and start the update. We are plugged in and connected. Uh, if you'll also notice, I've got the tool. I named it. Hubson FC and RX upgrade tool because that's what it is. Um, they call it the H501A upgrade tool version one. And this seems to confuse a lot of people. They think it's strictly for the H501A. You answer this question every day that no, it is not just for the H501A. It is an FC and RX upgrade program that works for several Hubson models. All the new models will be using this upgrade program. Um, so why they named it the 501A, maybe just because they first introduced it with the 501A, uh, I, I don't know what their thinking is. They didn't think ahead. I, th I think they just named it for the 501A and didn't think ahead and uh, think about all the other models that will be using it and the confusion that has been drawn from this. So. This is something I'm trying to get Hubson to change. Just call it Hubson FC and RX upgrade tool. I think that's pretty significant uh, to explain exactly what it does. But let's go ahead and start the upgrade. If you notice here, it says connected. You want to make sure it says connected. Uh, when you are not successfully connected, it'll say not connected. So we're going to plug it back in. It says connected. So it says connected. We're going to go choose our file. And for this version, it's H123FC version 2.1.1. So you can double click that or highlight it and click open. So now we have it in the version tab and we're going to click upgrade. Now, I'm just going to point out, and I'm not trying to nail Hubson for everything, but I do, part of the name here is quality control, QC. So that's why I point out the things I do. When I click upgrade, it does go and show that we have a timeout error, a race timeout. So that only happens one time, but it's something that they've been, this tool's been plagued with from day one. It used to do it a lot, but now it just does it one time. So once you click OK, you can then go click upgrade and everything will be fine. I don't know why they can't fully fix that and just get rid of it because that confuses people too. So now let's move on past that and we'll do the actual upgrade. But I also want to point out 
once I upgrade, once the upgrade is complete, you might not be able to hear me because you're going to find something pretty annoying that the quad does, and it'll be very significant. You'll, you'll know it right away. So click Upgrade, and it's upgrading. And we're going to wait for it to hit 100%, and then wait a little bit after that, and you're going to hear the quad beep loudly. So now your quad starts beeping loudly, which isn't a big deal. I guess it's their way of telling you the upgrade was successful. Um, but for me, it's annoying. Uh, if you're upgrading your firmware and you have a baby and the baby's asleep, that's going to be annoying to wake the baby up. Uh, in my case, I have a dog that cannot stand the sound of that. So besides being annoying to me, it's annoying to the dog as well. So now if you can hear me, the other problem with this program is on this version of firmware, you can't read the version. So once you've done the install, it says 100%, but you cannot read the version. So what you're going to have to do is bind your controller to the quad after the update, then go into your menu and check the firmware. Okay, so now we're going to bind the controller to the quad. And by doing that, or how to do that, you press the photo button and hold it and turn on the transmitter. Oops, I did it too quick, trying to do things too fast here. Press and hold, turn on. System initialize and bind to plane. Now you're going to plug in the battery on the jet and wait for it to bind. So now as you can see we're bound. Let me turn this around so you're not looking at my trash can. <laughs> so now you can see we're bound and I'm going to show you something else that is annoying, equally annoying to me. Let's tilt the camera a little bit here. We're going to enter the menu. To enter the menu, bring this stick all the way down. Long press the right stick. As soon as you enter the menu, we're going to start getting that loud beep again the whole time we're in the menu. So long press. There's your versions. Go down, show version. And it shows you your versions. Your transmitter version is version 114, no change there. And your uh, firmware for the flight control is a new version, 2.11, so we did successfully install it. And the camera version is version 143, no change there. The only change is the FC to version 211. See how annoying that beep is? <laughs> so now let's exit. and the beeping stops. I've addressed all these issues with the beeping and the problem with the uh, firmware tool not showing the version to Hubson. So uh, as long as Hubson has that information, that's as far as I can take it. Uh, what they do with it is up to them. Uh, I do find the beeping very annoying, and I do think that you should be able to use the tool and read the version that you've just installed. And lastly, uh, the timeout error that we still continue to get. I think that is something that Hubson needs to address as well. Uh, the whole thing is to make this a smooth process. There's a lot of little things that do not make it a smooth process, and that's your timeout error. Uh, the way they name the tool, it confuses people. Um, the not being able to read the version in the tool. These are all just simple little things that if we don't rush, we can fix. And we wouldn't have to have videos like this. So anyhow, this is how you update your or upgrade your firmware on the H123D. And hopefully the video that I just did will give you some explanation uh, as to some of the characteristics and some of the things that you find along the way. Hopefully that explains it for you. 
So that is it for upgrading the firmware. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Thanks.